welcome. Today is March 14th, 2022, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light to bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get straight into the channeled message. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to divine masculine and divine feminine. And were their energies towards each other? What can you reveal to me of the energies of divine, masculine, and feminine in the recent past? What is going on in the present moment? And also, what will come in the near future? What is the current energy surrounding divine, masculine, divine, feminine? Thank you, Spirit. Wow, so I see here, this is the Five of Cups. You know, this is a, a very different depiction because we have like a bunch of uh, sunflowers here in a field, but there is um, some cloudy cloudiness, right? It's a feeling of uncertainty. Now, what I'm getting from this particular depiction is that it's a time of reflection about what makes one happy. And I really feel like overall with the collective, okay, both masculines and feminines are both thinking, you know, what is it that makes either, you know, uh, themselves happy, okay, both on a masculine and feminine side. That's what I'm feeling. And I'm seeing here the nine of cups. So... I have a feeling that masculines are overcoming uh, this energy of a feeling sad and depressed. It's like looking at the brighter side of things. Sunflowers is a sign of happiness, sunshine, and there is a bunch of seeds um, that you could see in a sunflower. And it takes time for sunflowers to actually grow. I really feel that, wow. It is 10 a.m. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really feel that uh, masculines are overcoming this sadness. That's what it feels uh, like. Also, we have here this... Um, I believe is the king of pentacles in reverse. Maslins have really, they're really thinking that they kept a lot of thoughts or emotions to themselves about uh, the reasons why they were kind of in the dark. I have a feeling that um, they were just keeping to themselves. And uh, what I'm feeling is that um, they really couldn't think, so they needed a timeout for themselves, you know. That's why, you know, the overall energy here is this five of cups, you know. Masculines were grieving in regards to their personal situation. That I have a feeling that, you know, Divine Masculine has been um, sad. Now they're overcoming their sadness, Okay, of uh, the reasons why uh, they weren't able to make things work with their divine feminine, but it's not about just the feminine. Okay, this has something to do with self. Okay, you know, about how masculines view themselves. Okay, and I have a feeling that masculines have uh, done the inner reflection and possibly looked outside of themselves looking inwards so uh, i'm getting third eye activation okay that's what i'm feeling uh, from the masculine energy 
Also, we have here strength, but it's reverse. So Maslin realizes that, you know, they they didn't have the courage to really face their shadows. Okay. I have a feeling like they didn't have a choice in the matter to really look at their own personal situation. And what I'm hearing is that masculine feels like a coward uh, when it comes to their delivery uh, about moving past difficult situations, okay, because of whatever scenario that they're um, dealing with at this time. And I also see here Eight of Wands. You know, generally, you know, Eight of Wands is, uh, uh, you know, kind of like communication, right? But this whipped cream is a little sticky. <laughs> so, I really feel that masculines are kind of whipping things up. Let's see what else. Yeah, we have here the seven of pentacles. So what I'm getting with this is that masculines, they're trying to figure out which, which uh, scenario is going to have like a better outcome, What which uh, you know, direction that they should go. And what, which outcomes is temporary. So, you know, I just have a feeling that divine masculines have been thinking a lot to themselves and they have chosen, um, to live their life in the physical without their divine feminine. And as they're contemplating, they're really sad for their choices and decisions that they have made, uh, in their life up to this point. Okay. Um, whatever the masculine's perception is, is kind of like their reality, uh, in this instance. Okay. That's what I'm sensing. And also, uh, masculines, uh, they were, uh, taking the time of doing some inner work, right? Inner reflection, because perhaps this masculine wasn't really working on themselves is what I'm hearing. And uh, I'm also sensing that it was because they had fear, you know, of not uh, really standing their ground or being uh, truly authentic with themselves and also towards other people. So even though that uh, masculines may uh, boast that they are authentic, um, only to a certain degree okay it really depends on uh the circumstance uh that masculine is actually dealing with now i see that uh masculines they're they're starting to change um they're in the level of no awareness from what i can see and they realize that some things are temporary and there are some things that are made to last. Now, I have a feeling that this week masculine is uh, trying to use their discernment and uh, making a decision, you know, what stays and what goes. It's, you know, it's the energy that I've been picking up for the uh, collective and it, it's this energy of spring cleaning, right? So, um, you know, what I'm feeling with this is that uh, masculines, uh, they're trying to figure out what stays and what goes. You know, I'm also seeing here, uh, the, uh, the full in reverse. Masculines, they don't really feel good about their decisions. That's what I'm seeing. And now they're just letting it go. Okay. Um, something has, uh, possibly shown up. This could be a truth. This could be you know, a decision, maybe uh, something is playing out and they see that, okay, their ship has arrived. Now is their time to take whatever is theirs and uh, make a decision, right? Because with the seven of pentacles energy, uh, what I'm feeling with this is that uh, perhaps this masculine has invested into a connection for the past seven years with a particular group of people. Okay, this could be family, 
um, take it as it resonates, but that's what I'm saying. And um, this could be a job situation. And um, now is the time to make a decision because things are coming to a head. Exactly, with making a choice. And I see that uh, we have here the Three of Wands in reverse. You know, masculines, they're taking the time to really figure something out. Now, I have a feeling that things might be a little bit quiet between masculines and feminines, especially this week, because if they're going to take a little bit of time to uh, really see which direction that they should go, okay, they're not trying to do this quickly they're really taking their time to choose wisely that's what it looks like because I see here a rainbow with a ten of cups masculines um, you know I have a feeling that this is in regards to a home situation and you know it's kind of ironic because there's a feminine energy here that's sitting outside naked so um, I have a feeling that if stability was important, let's say like a house, um, a career, um, anything that was uh, very protective and stable in nature, masculine is willing to become more vulnerable with themselves and not really care uh, about those uh, issues, even though that that is something that you know, they don't just want to, you know, just shrug off because obviously money, stability, and security is very important in a 3D sense. But I have a feeling that masculine is choosing to change for once in their life because for the past seven years, I really feel like that's what masculine has been doing and it never really amount amounted to anything. Now, in the very beginning of this uh, channeling, I saw here the Five of Cups energy. And what I'm sensing with that is that Masculine is looking for their true happiness. There is a field of flowers here, okay, and seeds to be planted. So they know that um, over time, and I really feel like this is in the past five months, Masculine has been waiting for like an opportunity to really uh, kind of seal the deal on their uh, decision is what I'm hearing and I'm also getting May okay maybe they're waiting for the month of May for for this change but right now you know everything is happening in divine time kind of like chronological order that's what I'm seeing you know and I really feel like I'm channeling for a group of my twin flames who are in separation and this is what your masculine is going through um, it's very clear to me. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see. Yeah, because I have a feeling like they've isolated themselves. You know, I ha you know, masculines, they've been keeping to themselves. I don't care if they're in a karmic relationship or a situation. They're not happy, you know, and if they're with the karmic, it's temporary because they're about to make a decision to really detach that's what it feels like yeah i see here two of pentacles perhaps in the past two years masculine has been thinking about which direction that they should go is it this way or that okay uh maybe masculine is thinking uh you know where do they see themselves in the next two years? Is it still with uh, this karmic situation that they've invested in the past seven years? That's what I'm seeing. And I see here another, <laughs> another seven. It's a seven of cups in reverse. So they have made a decision. And I feel like they want to communicate their truth that they're going through transformation so there's an ending of something which i feel like is a past energy uh, for a birthing of something new and i see here it looks like a queen of wands energy it's in reverse so i have a feeling that um there's an ending towards uh a karmic okay who um who had expectations on the divine masculines to um, to kind of follow through, 
Okay. And I see that um, it's in regards to money, stability, the home. Now, mind you, I saw here the Ten of Cups, masculines. I really feel like they're going against the grain. Okay, typically, they possibly would have stayed with a karmic situation or continued to live their life with a karmic due to uh, financial security, uh, maybe because of their job, maybe their social standing. Um, but I really feel like now they're taking a chance okay by walking away from the karmic guys this reading is very clear uh for today and i see that uh masculines are they're no longer playing around okay um they're being uh very cautious with their next steps and i see here this is the knight of cups in reverse i feel like they're uh breaking a uh a contract okay or a relationship with the four cups energy okay um because things aren't working out that is how masculine is feeling so things are actually uh really making sense for masculines this week and i see here the moon masculines is using their intuition and they're reflecting um who do they feel you know who is it that feels right to them now there's a lot of bats here okay um bats are very nocturnal okay they're nocturnal creatures and um i have a feeling that, like late at night um masculines they keep thinking about the feminine but they have to like sneak around or hide the fact that they've been thinking about their feminine okay especially if the masculine is surrounded by karmic people Okay, that's what it seems like. I also see here the the king of swords. So they want to communicate that they have hope. Their hope is to, you know, make things right with the feminine energy. And I see here again, uh, this is the king of swords. Masculines, they want to tell you the truth that they've been holding back okay they haven't been connecting to their higher self and i see here the it looks like the king or maybe this is the queen no it looks like king of cups in reverse so the the secret is is that masculines have been repressing their emotions okay they've been holding back how they were feeling about uh coming to the feminines making an apology showing up with flowers they're kind of confused on how they could approach the feminine i see here the six of swords and it came up in reverse so masculines know that they were selfish only thinking about themselves <gasps> with the queen of swords energy in reverse about how they either cut you out and stop talking to you and i also see that with the five of pentacles in reverse they want to get out of the separation okay no longer feeling like they're no no longer like they're not good enough you know masculines know that they can change how they think that's why you know in the very beginning i saw here the five of cups energy you know masculines uh they've been really kind of sad and depressed but they're looking for their sunshine okay um things are happening very slowly you know and i really feel like this week masculine's going through some sort of revelation that they have been with a karmic who wanted social status money uh just looking good in front of other people um whoever this karmic is uh they feel entitled okay and i see here the hierophant in reverse you know i feel like they're going to court or they're getting out of the situation um there's a lot of revelation that i'm picking up for divine masculine is that this karmic isn't it um they're just needy and codependent perhaps masculine realized that they were actually needing codependent too in the past 
they're no longer vibrating. That's why I saw the death card. They want to put an end to the expectations of this karmic because the karmic was used to the masculine's giving towards this karmic situation. Now the karmic uh, is, uh, they feel entitled. They're, they feel like um, they should get money. This could be alimony, child support, you know, things like that. And um, if your person is already done with, you know, kids or whatnot, let's say they don't have children. Um, okay, they really feel like they need to work on themselves because they're not really connected uh, with anybody's uh, way of thinking. Okay, so they may be a little bit different and how they view relationships or connections. Like I said, everyone's uh, situation is different, but take it as it resonates, right? And I also see here the Seven of Wands in reverse. So masculines, they're no longer fighting this. They're giving in. And I see here the Six of Wands energy. You know, masculines, um, it's time to really i really feel like there's some sort of change that's going on here okay they're holding themselves back because they got to take care of business so i have a feeling like this week okay feminine divine masculines they, they're aware of whatever the situation is with their karmic partner they're actually working on it that that's the vibration I'm picking up so far. So let's see. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that, okay, masculines, they can't really work on anything right now, especially, okay, if you and your masculine has been in some kind of separation uh, with the karmic for about three years, okay, that's what's going on. Masculine knows that they can't really work on this until they resolve their karmic situation at this time. Okay, so uh, this week, masculines are really focused on the karmic situation, not so much on the feminine energy, okay, because um, they're working on their 3D reality right now. Also, so I see here the two of swords energy. They have a hard time of making a choice. Now I see here like there's an arrow going down. Also, you know, um, that that's actually showing to me that maybe stocks are going down this week. Okay, that's just another side thing I'm also seeing. Whatever the case is, okay, um, things are are not really working out. Masculine's really conflicted. They're, um. They're going through a lot in their mind, okay? So I have a feeling like they're trying to control the situation, okay? Because I definitely see that masculine is running out of time. Um, they're losing money, and um, they need to make a decision, okay? Right now, they can't really choose anything up to this point. Uh, I also see here uh, justice. Now, for some, you know, I'm picking up some kind of court case, legal uh, situation. Um, if they're not involved with the law, what I'm seeing is that they're making a head over heart decision. Okay. Um, and they're trying to balance um, how they feel and they want to make things right. Okay. For the past three years, things hasn't been right, especially with this masculine energy dealing with the karmic. So masculine has karma to deal with with the karmic. I'm just going to put it out there. Just saying. Also, I see here the sun in reverse and the lovers. Okay, they're kind of side by side. So what that tells me is that, um, you know, masculines, they, they have been thinking about the feminine this whole time. And they realize that um, they're not happy. They're also see, seeing that, um, you know, they were kind of like side, side blinded, right? Um, that's what I'm seeing. And... I also see here the Ten of Swords, and it came up in reverse. So it's time to just let go of what has happened. 
whatever happened in the past is the past. It's time to just work on what's today, okay? So that they can work on, you know, resolving whatever their situation is so they can really be happy. You know, there's there's three things that, that matter in our existence, okay? Especially if we're here in a 3D physical form. The first thing is, you know, um, the food that we eat because, you know, food is energy. And we want to eat, you know, fresh, healthy foods um, that is good for us to help us think very clearly, okay, uh, with um, what we do on a daily basis with our energy, okay? The second thing here is, um, you know, like really... really just follow it, it's like being happy okay that's the feeling i'm getting like in order to you know just life is about happiness it's about being happy that's what i'm saying so if masculine isn't happy it's time to change i mean there's no question of doubt like why would masculine stay uh you know upset angry, depressed, you know, because of a karmic. Now, granted, masculine chose those uh, conditions, okay? But what I'm hearing is just time to change. So, you know, I really feel like there's some a level of clarity uh, that masculine realizes that this has, has got to change and it, it comes from within, that's what it feels like. It's very clear. Okay, so let's see. What messages does Masculina say towards the feminine? unavailable i can't give you what you want right now i'm having too much fun partying okay i have a feeling like that was a thing of the past that's not going on right now also i was just looking for an easy hookup and felt you wanted more than what i can give again this is like a, an old version of divine masculine okay especially if you had history with them I ghosted you because I wanted to teach you a lesson. <laughs> the, well, masculine, okay? It looks like it was a role reversal there because that was karma that you got. Also, I felt you were out of my league and didn't meet your standards, so I didn't bother to try to avoid disappointment. You know, and I really feel like this is for a group of you. Your masculine was feeling really insecure. Also, I wanted you in my life, but not in the way that you wanted me to. I had to disconnect to get clarity because it wasn't fair to you. So I have a feeling like this is what's going on right now. Okay. Um, they want you back. Okay. I definitely am seeing that. But masculines know that they have to really resolve their karma with the karma before they come back. So at this point, I really feel like masculines are disconnected to get the clarity and they sure as had got that clarity this week. And, you know, since we're, we're coming up towards this Virgo full moon, I really feel like, you know, they're making their list, they're checking it twice, you know, and uh, they're going to resolve it. Okay, like Virgos are perfectionists and um, it's just time to really like clear it up now the downfall about virgo is that you know since they're uh, so much of a per uh, perfectionist they take too damn long <laughs> just saying also we have intervention your guys intervene to protect you from this person trust is ending and let it go for now exactly i really feel like now's the time to trust and you know especially if you've been in separation from divine masculine for some time you know i think that that's kind of evident right um everything is going to happen in divine timing so let me go ahead and just get uh to the akashic tarot and see what is uh, the message that the collective need to know Oh, 
What is the message? Please, Spirit. Wow, we have 11. The Ark of the Covenant. So let's see. Line them up. <laughs> let's see. The stars are shining on a serene desert night. Fires burn before a number of white tents. Inside one of the tents just beyond, the open front flaps rest the Ark of the Covenant. Two men sit by a crackling fire nearby. At the most mundane level, the card can represent beneficial legal contract or title transfer. It can also show successfully working with professionals such as brokers and lawyers. More often, it indicates that you're living true to your own karmic contract, facing your lessons of growth, working towards greater discoveries, and bringing your unique contributions to the world. Your karma does not rule you, you rule it. What did I say? I really feel like this week it's very clear on what the masculines need to do if masculines are going to court, which I, I saw here in this channeling. If it's been three years, okay, guys, masculines, um, they're not working on this situation to be with you at this time. But what I'm seeing is that they're resolving their karma with their karmics. They're at the end of their three-year cycle, okay? That's what I'm seeing. And so um, I have a feeling that um, they're working on it because I see here with the Six of Pentacles energy. Um, and I also see here the Six of Cups, Masculines, uh, they're reminiscing of the past. Time is is up. Time is up, okay? And I have a feeling like this week, okay, if a uh, Divine Masculine is going to seek legal counsel or they're going to court, I really feel like it's going to be in their favor. Things are actually coming to a head, okay? That's, that's what I'm saying. It's actually really positive. Um, and also karma. Karma is action. So I have a feeling like if masculine hasn't taken action so far, I really feel that this week masculine is going to take action, legal action towards some sort of karmic situation and they're actually going to benefit. Okay, because if the karma came and felt like they were entitled uh, because of fame, glory, money, stability, you know, um, whatever right feigning ignorance um it, it's not gonna work okay you know because karma is a bitch just saying <laughs> okay uh taking a rest doesn't break uh with your covenant it supports it you understand the phases of time and energy and you work within those phases some of your karmic uh, derivatives at this time may involve other people. If so, make sure there is no urgency, need, or personal agenda in play. Don't let yourself get pulled into an emotional drama exactly. I really feel like masculines, they're not really um, wallowing in their emotions, okay? They about had it. They mean business. Like, this is very Virgo energy. That's what I'm feeling. Mm, interesting. Know that the things that require your attention now reflect a commitment that has a far-reaching influence that may impact your present as well as your future lives. So, continue to work towards your highest purpose to uphold the sacred covenant you have to talk touch the world with your light wow so this week it's go time you know it's time to clean up okay masculines they realize okay they accepted their loss okay yeah they invested into a karmic situation it wasn't what they thought it would be you know and they've dealt with it i really feel like they realized that it didn't work it's time for a change. And right now, feminines, okay, there is divine intervention at play um, to protect you at this time, okay, uh, from whatever this energy is. And masculines, they're using this time to get off their karmic contracts. So there's definitely a very um, positive movement of the masculine energies to free themselves from their karmic contracts so that they can be ready for a physical union with their feminine. I really feel like for divine feminines, okay, 
really balance out your feminine energy and be in the energy of receptivity okay that doesn't mean like uh having expectations on masculines coming towards you at this time you know if you're open and free with whatever comes and goes uh just accept things as they are you know um because the pining and uh clinging energy is not really going to serve you okay but if you're watching this and you're in the know and in that flow it's gonna come you know just enjoy the the ride <laughs> That's what I got, guys. So I really hope that uh, this was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And uh, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG under Scorpio Moon Intuition. And before I let you go, I have an announcement. Uh, all personal private readings are on sale for this week. And so as I'm recording this channel, it is March. March 14, 2022, and uh, by the 21st, March 21st, 2022, in my time, because I know everyone is watching me all over the world, so everyone's timing is different, so one week, okay, um, all of my readings are on sale. Also, I do have a few items uh, in my shop that are, are marked on sale, so if it says sale, it's on sale, okay, um, and I have created some beautiful uh, wands, okay, for your protection. Now, if you're living here in the United States, okay, uh, we have the Virgo full moon. And so uh, if you are here, um, you can purchase some of my lovely bath salts and get ready for your uh, your spiritual bath soak, right? So that you can uh, detox and clear negative energies and wash away any of those bad jujus down the drain and be ready with this virgo energy because i really feel like use this energy wisely guys okay um you know virgos are task mas uh, masters and so um use it <laughs> just saying i know i'm using it too so i'll just show uh like a few more so uh all of these uh uh, sage wands are unique and so I may not replicate uh, the styles or the designs and so um, I have a lot of different ones um, that are ready um, to be sent out to you okay uh, also I do have okay sage wands okay i have many different varieties of sage wands and these are actually on sale so if you're interested also and you want to sage your space go ahead and check it out and let's see what else um i think that's pretty much uh it so thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye <music>